Hi everybody. I wanted to tell you the story of a puppy who came to us a few months ago. Her name is Zoe. Zoe has been adopted, so this does have a happy ending. I'll tell you that right away. When Zoe came to us, it wasn't so happy though. She had been intentionally fed methamphetamines. Miss Zoe did start to show very excited behavior. We're all used to puppies being excited and happy, but this was different. She was manic. Her heart rate was increasing. She became aggressive. Mind you, this is a 12 pound puppy, three months old. And all of a sudden she changed from happy and tail waggy and looking to us for, for love and help to all of a sudden being paranoid. And I never thought that I would use that, that word to describe a dog, but she was paranoid. Everything she saw or thought was coming towards her, she interpreted as a threat. It did make the situation dangerous for us to handle her. Even though she's a very small puppy, they can still bite and they can bite hard. The most dangerous part about meth intoxication in a dog is the fever that they get. Dog's normal is around 102, and that's where she was when she came to us. And within 15 minutes, her temperature was over 105. We were able to give her medications to lower her heart rate and try and help control her temperature. So we did keep her sedated. If we allowed her to wake up, she would be so scared of everything around her that it was unsafe for us to interact with her. She came home with me so that she could get the care that she needed. When these kids are critical, sometimes they come home. It's truly taking our work home with us. We were able to wean her off of her sedation the next day. And at that point, she was mostly clear from the meth. And she was back to being a happy puppy. We're feeling much better today. <laughs> that was great news. It was so good to see her without permanent damage. We were so worried that her fever would affected her brain or affected her ability to be a puppy, but she, she was back and that was just so wonderful. But it was really scary. Those 24 hours of care was just so emotionally taxing, so dangerous for her. Unfortunately, drug exposures happen in animals. In her case, it was on purpose. Other times it can be on accident. Other dogs come to us who have also been exposed to meth. And we're not able to save all of them. We're so lucky that we were able to help Zoe. If you think that a pet has been exposed to a medication or a drug, please take action quickly. There are things that we can do in the first 30 minutes of exposure that prevents most of the side effects in certain cases. Step one, call your veterinarian. Step two, call Pet Poison Helpline. They're a national database of veterinary toxicologists who are able to give recommendations for what needs to happen to help save your pet's life. We are not here to judge. We are here to save lives. If you think that an animal is at risk, please reach out so we can try.